But up first tonight, that disturbing story in Prince George's County. Police say the death of a five-year-old girl is now being investigated as a homicide. I'm Leslie Foster. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. This happened in Capitol Heights. The medical examiner says that child died from blunt force trauma. No one has been arrested. So what exactly happened here? Scott Brim spent the day trying to get some answers. According to Prince George's County Police, this started with an ambulance call here to the Capitol Heights Fire Department at 1018 on Thursday night. Fireman engine 805. For an unresponsive child. I have a child not breathing box area is 503. After rescuers from here at the Capitol Heights Fire Department arrived at the home on Cumberland Street nearby, they called in police. The five-year-old girl named Pradeline Delanois was rushed to a hospital in a district where doctors pronounced her dead. Today, Prince George's County Police announced they believe the girl was murdered. The Office of Chief Medical Examiner for Washington, D.C. Um, conducted an autopsy and the cause of death was determined blunt force trauma. I think it's a tragedy. Next door neighbor Michael yeah. Darrington said he saw rescuers at the house Thursday night but was stunned by today's developments. I see her going to school in the morning. I see her coming back from school. That's terrible. Yeah. Neighborhood residents said the child lived in the home with her father and stepmother, along with an older sister and infant child. The victim's mother died in 2017, according to an obituary published by a local funeral home. Police declined to say who made the call for help or who was home on the night Pratelaine Delanois was found not breathing. They said that information is part of the investigation. No suspects, charges, or arrests have been announced. In Capitol Heights, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.